Hello there. Hi there. Are you good? I hope you're good. I'm good. I'm feeling better about myself lately. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so you saw through the fan opening, because I'm going to make this a thing, and this is going to get harder and harder to do uh, as I go through things. I'll make them shorter though. Uh, is let me tell you about a thing called Homestuck. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, not much to say about Homestuck. Homestuck didn't change my life in this weird way. I didn't get introduced to new people. I didn't, like, change my ways of being. I think, if anything, Homestuck changed my art style a little bit. I took a little bit of stuff from it, and I like drawing the characters a lot because they're very simple and they're fun to draw. But when it comes to my life, Homestuck didn't do a huge thing. In fact, there are certain things that probably ended up for the worst. But that's that's for later. And um, also probably more um, too personal. Because, you know, I'm still getting to know you guys and you guys are starting to get to me. Bleh, know me. I can talk. But uh, we're going to talk about Homestuck real quick. And the easiest way I can say about like getting into Homestuck for me was I was into Italia in 2011-2012, I was on Tumblr in 2011-2012, Homestuck was just the natural progression. Um, I was a Hedda Stuck, I had a comic that I made about Hedda Stuck and how Homestuck was becoming more like accepted by the other fandoms and yeah, I, that did pretty decently. I think my Homestuck stuff actually has done the best when it comes to my fan art. I have one comic that got like a thousand notes, so that's a thing. But yeah, Homestuck was a time. And the characters that you see, or will see, because I think at this point I'm still only on Carcat, uh, is Carcat, and then you'll see Terezi, and then Aridin. They're they're the first characters that I ever drew, and you'll see at the end a comparison between the, like, two drawings from, like, 2012 or whatever. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was, two yeah, it was definitely 2012. Homestuck was also the first, uh, thing where I did a full cosplay and did more work than just, I have this in my closet, go and do it. I actually made some props for this. I made, like, one or two props for something else, but then it turned into another thing. And one of the cool things about Homestuck for me was that all the characters that I wanted to cosplay had black hair. And I had long black hair, so I could do a lot with it. And my first character that I ever cosplayed was Bada Bing Bada Boom, Riska. She was my favorite character for a while too, so. And then, I guess another thing, oop, I hit my microphone, I'm sorry. <laughs> another thing that was kind of big for me, at least in Homestuck, was I worked on a thing with someone. It was a fan adventure, and I tried to find some images of like a comic that I had done set to, I can't remember the name of the song. I'll probably, This Is War, that's it, that's the song. It was This Is War. And I did a full comic, and I did it for a final project for a colors class, and it was the first time I really used marker uh, extensively and ink and stuff like that so there's that oh gosh I forgot that I actually did like an Equius and Nepeta little booklet thing a long time ago man it's weird because I didn't think I made so much stuff for Homestuck but as I was going through old things I was like oh yeah I made that and I made that and I made that and I made that and I did that I like Homestuck is one of those things that I just forgot how much I was actually in it. It wasn't huge, but it was definitely something I was in. So, and take that as you will. Anyway, the fan venture, sorry, I totally got sidetracked. The fan venture, I did, I worked on it with someone, and then we brought in a mutual friend, and I found out some other details about that whole thing, and that's the time. And then that person left, or not my friend, but the other person, and that was for the better. If anything, there were three characters, no, four characters. I forgot about the fourth character. 
uh, four characters that came from it that either were like kind of in their final forms or I was starting to figure out who they were. First one was Reed, and then there's Lala, and then Aaron, and Kaz. So there's all that. And honestly, there's not much else I can say about Homestuck. I had some fun times, and like I did go back to it later in life after Collide happened because Collide was actually really cool and it was kind of fun to just be nostalgic over Homestuck again. I ended up cosplaying Dave Strider who is my personal favorite character and I got to do the god tier and a friend of mine made the cape for the most part. Uh, he made the pattern, I sewed like two things and then he did the rest of it so I still kind of over that. We did like one photo shoot with my first photo shoot and one of my favorite things that I have ever made for Homestuck which I don't think anybody else cares about is my stupid Dave Strider album cover, which you'll see here. I spent time on this. It's beautiful. <laughs> Don't judge me. But that kind of like happened after a big thing that happened in 2013 to 2014. And the, if there's anybody who's watching this that was in Arizona around that time, you might have heard of something called AZ Prom Stuck. And uh, I'm, I was, I'm, I'm close friends. I, I don't know if I'm still close friends. I hope I'm still close friends. I don't talk to her that often, but I was friends with the person who ran it and kind of came up with the idea and wanted to make it a thing. And I was part of the flash mob. I was their Vriska. And I was looking through pictures. I was like, oh man, I forgot to wear glasses. Oh well, I just wore my contacts. It's fine. Part of it is also if you've ever worn Ben Nye and had glasses and like any kind of makeup and have glasses, you just kind of ruin the center part of your glasses because it just gets covered in makeup no matter how well you seal it. Hmm. But it was this weird thing of coming back and cosplaying Vriska again. And it was weird in the sense of like, for me, Promstuck was the end of everything that I ever wanted to do with Homestuck. I never wanted or I, at the time, I didn't want to do anything with Homestuck again. I had moved on to Rooster Teeth, Machima Hunter, and I just, I couldn't. And so, yeah, um, Promstuck, in theory, was cool. But most of us don't talk to each other anymore. The people who were friends are still friends. The people who weren't friends or aren't friends a lot of the problems comes from like there's just this huge age gap and there was just some bad stuff happening behind the scenes and like you'd think it was it would be with the younger people but really it was entirely the people that were closer to my age like there were two people in particular that like it just made everything a bad time <laughs> so after after all that, I decided, you know what, this is this is okay. This is where I'm gonna leave it off. So, that that's my life as homestuck. I, I don't know if you have questions, I can answer them. I was in it for the worst time to be homestuck, <laughs> so there's that. So after this, I knew I wanted to do homestuck right after Hitalia, but I'm not sure where I want to go from here. So, I'll leave it up to you guys in a poll that I'll leave at the end, and if no one votes, then I'm just gonna pick one or three and then pick at random and do a thing with that. But it's gonna be either Danny Phantom, Welcome to Night Vale, or Red vs. Blue. Uh, one of which I'm actually still technically in the fandom because I still really like that series a lot. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, follow me on social medias. I'll post them at the end and leave a comment if you have any questions. I'm usually pretty chatty in the comments. Um, if you ask a question or say something that I can respond to. so Or you can leave me a message on one of my social medias. Okay, so that that's it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put on your grief at the end of this because it's my favorite song from all of Homestuck. Okay, yeah, bye.
record. See, it's recording. We're there. And we decided to be homestucks. 